Hello, this video is going to cover uh, reporting on the Juniper MX series with the application awareness card. Uh, we're going to take a look at the specifically the IPFIX export using Scrutinizer. All right, here we are in the status tab, and if I want to look at my Juniper devices, I'll just type in the DNS name. In my case, I just called them Juniper. So this is my Juniper device, and uh, let's take a look at the reports. And you can see right down here, I've got uh, about 19 reports so far that we've built for Juniper. Everything from HTTP, uh, they do DPI, obviously, to find out the application, DNS details, customers are going to love that, or the round trip time, um, as well as the um, retransmit. So let's just take a look at some of this. Go to application performance. Uh, you'll see our layer 7 applications that it's uncovered, HTTPS. you got pagination down here at the bottom if you want to see how much Facebook or Adobe Flash or whatever. Um, so they've done a really good job with that, and you can see I'm getting my retransmitted both uh, downlink and uplink packets, uh, round trip time for that app. So let's take a look at HTTP. So what I'll do is I'll just grab it like this, bring it over to the left, and I can either include it or exclude it. In this case, I want to include it, so I'm going to drop it there and apply it. You can see my filters right here on the left. All right, so there's my HTTP uh, uplink, downlink, same thing, but just focused on this now. So what I want to do is I'm just going to click on that, go back down to Juniper and say, you know what, give me some details on what's going on inside there for IPv6 or IPv4. So I'm going to run that report. Good reporting in flow data is generally through a series of filters and a different report. So you can see these are the hosts that are communicating um, with round trip time, uh, retransmits and round trip time. Very, very useful there. And I can just I can sort by the the um, column just by clicking on the header, right, to see well I've got a lot of retransmits there, which could be the reason for the the slowness, not necessarily the round trip time. So it's really nice to be able to look at both. And then if I see something that's just everyone is communicating with an IP address, I'm just going to take it over here and exclude it and apply that filter and just get rid of it out of my report. If you um, want to zoom in on a time frame, just highlight it like that with your mouse, let go. Uh, if you want to know what other options you have, just go up right up here to the menu and you've got a whole bunch of options, a uh, number of rows. I'm only looking at top 10 at a time, if you want the DNS names or not. Um, you can change the uh, how you want to look at the data, stacked or anything. You can play with these options, change the time frame, uh, specific time frame, whatever. Um, and then um, you'll notice you won't have quite as many uh, reports for the same reason that Juniper doesn't stay, show up in the status tab. The the export uh, different counters, but no big deal. All the di all the different reports for Juniper are right in here. So um, I can add additional filters, and I can even filter on anything inside the IPFIX template. So bitrate, class, um, really granular um, types of filters. Uh, one of my favorite reports, come, down, uh, come up here and run for the uh, URI. And you can see I actually get the uh, URI that they're visiting with their web browser. All right, if you want to get rid of a filter, just click on that and uh, remove it. So um, that is just about it. I'll start wrapping up this video. So Juniper MX IPFIX reporting. Uh, the exports have exceptional details in IPFIX, HTTP, DNS, IFL, NAS, record reason, retransmits, etc. Really great information. The scrutinizer evaluation from Plixer runs on VMware, Hyper-V, KVM. Uh, we have a hardware appliance as well and uh, a, a cloud hosted service if they would rather you know just send it into the cloud. Plixer offers two different no-cost options for you to evaluate our uh, scrutinizer software. The first is a full functionality evaluation option supporting all vendor exports including the Juniper reports I've reviewed here. The evaluation version supports unlimited devices, unlimited interfaces, and saves all data throughout the evaluation period, which is up to 30 days. After 30 days, you can run the software in free mode. The main difference between the evaluation version and the free mode is that free mode saves the data for up to five hours. Regardless of which version you have, if you choose to purchase, it's an easy license um, key to upgrade. So for more information, just go to Plixer.com or give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks.